Okay. This is what I was saying, right? If I got you as my man, right? And you are supposed to be leading, right? You already know I'm business oriented, right? Mm -hmm. We got a family. Right. What messes it up a lot of times is when if the man and say I'm dealing, you know, I'm, I'm dealing with the man. I'm dealing with the man. He dealing with other women. Then you start dealing with other women. Then you come to me about all the problems they brought to you concerning me. So by the time you come to me with all the problems that you have with me, it's new to me. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So everything will be good over here. At least I think it is. At least I thought it was. But then you come to me with all these problems the whole time. You got a whole nother chicken in the tank. Mm. I can't have that. Because if you cannot, if you can't get your women together, I'm not saying that women don't come around. Because it, it's just, it's, it's, it's impossible to think that you be able to, you know, <laughs> you know, Throw bowls on every female. I, I I honestly feel like this, but you know you can't. If you got somebody attractive, even if you if you deal with somebody who ain't you know they just decent, it's impossible to just not think that females ain't gonna come at the person that you're with. You know what I'm saying? Some women just they just they just like other people men. They don't even have to be how they look. They just attracted to other people men. But this is the issue, right? I'm looking for, I'm, if I'm talking business, and I'm thinking we good, and then you come to me about feelings and issues that you got with me, and I'm confused. Why is this new to me? You, got to, you have to be straight up and down about this. You can't get these females in line about their feelings because it really... It's really their feelings. They're projecting their emotions and their feelings on you as a man trying to make me your enemy. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. When I'm trying to take care of the house. I'm trying to take care of us. I'm trying to be your woman. I'm trying to take care of you emotionally here. But if you got everybody else entertaining your emotions, how can I be that woman for you? If you got, if you can't handle the business, you can't keep our assets assets. Meaning, every time you look around, you gotta sacrifice something of what we got, and it ends up being a liability. Eventually, you're gonna become a liability. Mm. Because I gotta constantly come behind you and pick up your pieces when you shouldn't even have them all over the place. That's the thing. You can't maintain the females around you. You can't be my man. Mm. Because if you can't keep them in check, you sure can't be in my world. Right. Because I don't have time to do that. That's all I'm saying. That's why I couldn't understand the whole idea of me being a side chick or no, man, why would I be okay? Let's just be real here, okay? <laughs> let's, let's take reality here. As confident as I am, what would make anybody believe that I'm the type of female that be okay with a man lying to me, <laughs> a man spreading himself thin, okay, to every little thing? Mm -hmm. Or <laughs> why would I be okay with being number two, okay? Right. I don't even like waiting in line. Why would I? <laughs> Why would I even be a number two? I'm just being honest. I don't even like. I get impatient if I see two, three people at the gas station. I'm like, oh lord, I'm gonna be in here forever. I get impatient. You know what I'm saying? So why would I even be number two? Why would I need to be sitting waiting on your phone call when you should have been coming home? Mm. That's just how I feel. If I can't have, if I can't be number one. I don't mm -hmm. want to be nothing, cause I can make myself number one any given time. But right. I'll be, I'll be, to put my life in your hands, 
and a next chick hand. And it's even worse if a female know about you and they okay with it. It's worse. Because she she gets to juggle your life too. Oh. Some females be okay with that and they just juggle. No, 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 no. If I cannot be number one, it's nothing. Period. Because, and then if I'm going to be your number one, I don't need all these females thinking it's okay to approach me because they ain't going to get what they really thought <laughs> they, they going to get. They not going to get the reaction that they really think they're going to get. Mm -hmm. They ain't going to get me crying and running to the corner. None of that. And, and, and the, the men I actually dealt with, they know that about me. They know that. That's why they, when I dealt with that type of stuff, they did they stuff in secret because they never tried me in, in public. It wouldn't it wouldn't be me, me and the female fighting. It'd be me and the man fighting because he too busy trying to keep me from getting to her. Because he know I I'm I'm strong. <laughs> I come with a lot of power. So and he know whatever female that he deal with outside of me is weaker than me. Mentally and mm -hmm. physically. Yeah, yeah. Because he ain't gonna he ain't gonna mess around with another female that's on my level. He might as well just be faithful. He gonna deal with a female that has less that's that's less ambitious than me, with less fight inside, less boss like mentality. He right. gonna deal with an employee before he deal with another boss. Right. That's usually what they do. And I never seen an employee that got that bold towards their boss without getting fired. That's just that on that. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, the boss gets the last say so. So that's why I can't deal with the whole I gotta be I gotta be number two or be okay with that. No, no, no. You can't keep them in check. You can't keep them in line. We will never be. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I feel like I'm talking like uh, what's the name of that group? <laughs> I'm I can't honestly you so soft spoken right now. It's almost like it's hard to believe that that's you. Well, how, I, how I'm talking right now? Uh huh. Cause mama, I don't miss you like, so much. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And like this type of stuff gets like, old. It gets old. It gets old over time. I believe you. Cause you're just like, man, if, if only if you just stick with the business, you can't stick with the business. That's an issue for me. Mm -hmm. I can't, I can't move. You keeping me stuck because I'm vouching for you. Yeah. I'm standing behind you. But if you keeping me stuck, then I mean... The first person you gonna blame is me. But there's no way around nobody looking at you because you were supposed to leave. Right. It's, it's, it's crazy because, you know, you got a lot of people who call themselves bosses in boss position, but not operating like a boss. But then you got people who not in boss position, but think like a boss. Mm. But that's because, you know, it's a lot of favoritism and stuff like that. Then you got the other half where, you know, people weren't really just taught proper ways. I had to learn the hard way about gratitude and really do my own, you know. But but then you got that one corner of people that just want to keep their foot on your neck. Yeah. They don't want to wanna look out for you because, you know, they could have helped you. They they might want to help you, but at the same time they don't they they don't want to help you because they they see that you're doing great, but they afraid that you might reach your highest potential and surpass them. But if you're confident in what you do, that shouldn't bother you at all. Where a person is in life, never compare yourself to other people. 
that's what people mess up at. When you start yeah. comparing yourself to other people and thinking like, well, look at what they're doing or they're not doing this and look at that and you start trying to pick things apart, you lose focus on yourself and you're not going to reach your highest potential because you're too busy trying to compare yourself to somebody else. After a while, you're not even going to look like yourself no more. You won't look like the person that you're trying to compete with instead of yourself. Most people who are in high positions are their authentic self. They are confident and somebody saw something about them that mm -hmm. stood out the crowd that nobody else ever seen. Right. And they liked it and they they, they want to work with them. But mm -hmm. then you got people who feel like if they do what everybody else do and they like how they made it. Well, they made it because they was themselves. You might have the mind frame of a boss, but you were too busy worrying about what everybody else think. Mm, can't be that. Can't be no boss like that. Because you got to constantly keep up with ideas. You got to constantly stay relevant. You got to constantly keep things going. You got to stay focused. You got to constantly be motivated. You got to stay resilient. You got to stay on top of your game because it's always going to be somebody. They're just going to come in and stick their foot out while you run it. Hoping you will trip up and get mad when you catch yourself. Mm -mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, when stuff like that happen, man, you just got to watch out for people like that. But you got people and may be in high positions, but they're not happy. But the reason why they're not happy is because they were comparing them. They they might they might have started off themselves, but they got in certain crowds. Or, you know, they had this, you know, they're saying like, don't forget where you came from. It's nothing wrong with never forgetting where you came from. It's just an issue when you go back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just it's right. Just like, right. It is an issue when you go back. Because if you it's it's one thing because Never forgetting, think about it, that's psychology. You, you that's in the mind is conscious. Don't mm -hmm. you know you don't forget where you came from yeah. because where you came from is what made you. But at the same time, if you go back, you gonna go back into a lack mind state of mind or mind frame or whatever, and then you gonna mm -hmm. you gonna too you too busy trying to help everybody else. It's kind of like. If you had one loaf, one one slice of bread, and you were sitting around six people, right? And you had to break bread with everybody in the room because everybody hungry. How much you going to be able to eat? Not much. But if everybody went out there and got their own bread, everybody would be able to eat. It's right. one thing if I feed you. But it's another thing if I got to keep feeding you while I run out. Right. Exactly. You over there getting fat, but you ain't trying to do nothing. Yep. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You don't got no ideas. <laughs> and your mindset always negative. You too busy trying to pick apart somebody else. You ain't trying to see. Like, I ain't at least uplift me when I'm down. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's right. how I feel like at least, at least because if I if I can't if I can't even depend on you to even be a positive person in my life, at least you considered a liability. I cannot keep you around. Right. You cannot stay. You can't stay where I'm going. You can't go with me where I'm going. Where I'm going is nobody's concern, to be honest, because everybody have their own path. Right. Where God leads you is where God gonna lead you. But this is the issue. When people think that a certain person has to be that way, and it's not the case. It's not a, God didn't pick just pick a certain person to do certain things. Everybody has the potential to get to where they're going. They just have to open their mind up a little bit and get up. Yeah. Everybody got the same 24 hours. You're not trying to get up and do what you need to do to make things happen. 
then what you expect? You get up doing the same thing every single day. You ain't made no changes. You ain't learned nothing new. You didn't read up on nothing new. You didn't see things from another person. You didn't even went outside to even breathe the air God even made. <laughs> you didn't even try. You know, you're doing the same mundane things every single day. What do you expect? Because change only happens when you change. But at the same time, change is inevitable. So just because things around you are changing, that don't mean your circumstances are going to change if you never change. That's right. So that's just how I see it. And that's just all, that's how I feel with relationships. That's how I feel with social groups. That's just how I feel in general. It's not that I just, you know, expire all relationships. It's just that when it comes down to the mindset and the mind frame, I don't want to be dealing with no other chicks. I don't need to be dealing with no faulty friends. I don't need to be dealing with none of that. You need to be able to see what I see. Mm. And sometimes it can be quite hard, you know, because especially if you've been knowing a person for a long time, you would never think it'd be a person in your face trying to cross you. Right. But even in that, even in a situation like that, they need to know just, just as well as you need to know within yourself, bro, you cross me, I'm going to cut you off and I'm not going to feel nothing about it. And you need to know that now. Mm -hmm. So if you don't get yourself together and you keep doing the same thing you're doing, just know, don't be surprised if I see you and I'll never speak. Right. It's nothing. I don't have nothing against you. It's just that I don't got time. I ain't, I'm not on that type of time you on. You got to be ready to bust moves. People be thinking like loyalty is all about sticking around even when a person do you wrong. Yeah, you're going to have mistakes. You're going to have disagreements. You're going to have fallouts. You're going to have all that going on. But if a person is consistently doing you wrong, it's one thing if somebody is consistently your friend or is consistently showing you uh, uh, loyalty, consistently showing you love, consistently showing you that, hey, I'm dependable. Hey, you can rely on me. But it's another thing if somebody consistently showing you hate, envy, jealousy, throwing little rocks, um, you know what I'm saying? Like they consistently doing it. It's, but you want to you wanna pay attention, more attention to the, the quantity, how long you've been knowing a person. But the quality sucks. Just because McDonald's have been up for years and years and years and years, that don't mean if they got your order wrong, you ain't gonna tell them straight up, "Hey, my order wrong." And if they right. keep if they keep making your order wrong, you ain't gonna go somewhere else. Right, right. That's how people need to look at friendship. It's it's service. Mm. I'm gonna be a service to you just as well as you a service to me. Ooh. If you can't give me the same type of quality, then I'm gonna just go somewhere else. I don't care how long you've been up. Who you are, what you are means nothing to me. It's always somebody else that can give me the same opportunity. And that's just how I feel.